Hey everyone, I'm DH here, and I'm starting to like this spin thing. And, uh, we're going to return back to the Mortal Kombat 11 roster. I have one for my Call of Duty one as well. So I'll do that on another video, obviously. It's Mortal Kombat I'm playing today. So I think I added about two new names in here. So two, three, rather. You just saw rain there. Three new names. So we're going to do this. And, you know, you're going to see who I end up on. So let's get started. And for today, we're going to have the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Murder to the wire, Michelle Obama, to reparations. There's no limit to the range of black stories, black truth. Black perspectives haven't always been centered in the telling of America's story. Now they are the story. And NPR's Black Stories, Black Truth, you'll find a collection of some of NPR's best podcast episodes celebrating the black experience. Here are a feed of episodes from across NPR's podcasts that center black voices. It's NPR Noir. Listen now to Black Stories, Black Truth from NPR. Mom didn't go off. There we go. Yeah. Mom didn't come Skip up. That. <laughs> might, be, <laughs> might, be, might, might be racist. Why you know black people with that? Hell. So glad God is God. Thank you, Lord. Appreciate you. Today is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I sure am. Steve Harvey Morning Show, y'all. Shirley Strawberry, Carla Pharrell, Mississippi Monica. Junior, the legend that is nephew Tommy. Uh, Junior, what yeah, is it uh, today, man? You no, know, I'm just saying, uh, if you was God, uh, just make it rain on a certain group of people. Uh, I'm not a racist <laughs> person unless you're racist towards me. That's how I want to support. There we go. Yeah, yeah, Can't say I'm tired of them, but I've been playing with them quite a bit. All right. I was taught that way. Just you. As long as we cool, I'm like this man. I'm a cool person. As I said before, you'll see the video with this. You'll see the PlayStation video with this. I really can, man. It's just some people, man, just you know they hate us. That's a whole other thing, you know. But once again. I've never had a hater that was doing better than me. So I just yeah. keep that and, and press forward, man. When I see a person hating on me, I look at their life and I go, hmm. <laughs> mm, that's cute. <laughs> that's cute. I'm going to keep moving, though. Yeah. Yeah. How you doing today, Junior? You always ask you, man, well, how you good, doing today, man. man? Man, you know what, man? I'm good, man. You know, I thank God for the problems, man. Thank you for the problems. Cause I usually didn't have them. I usually didn't have them. What? I ain't had none. What, what? What are you mean? You're thinking for the problem? What are they? What are you going? I mean, because I elevated my life to where I have these issues I got to work through. I, when, when, when I was when I was out here on the road doing nothing, I ain't had these issues. Oh. Okay. Got so you're grateful for the problems. For the you're problems. grateful for the problems. New level, new depth. Yeah. Yeah. You grateful for the level, so you yeah. deal with the depth. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. 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 Well, well, I, don't I don't want no more damn problems. I don't want no more damn problems. I don't want no more damn problems. I don't want, I don't want another problem. If I can go another day without a problem, I'd be great. Sign you up. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't want that life too, but that is Yeah. Because look at Uncle Steve. Oh, All the problems Uncle Steve got. I ain't nowhere near Uncle Steve. Boy, you don't even understand. Wait, wait, I'll tell you why I'm zooming from here today. <laughs> <laughs> new location. <laughs> new devil, new location. <laughs> new Zoom location. I'm yeah. Zoom location. Yeah. <laughs> That's how my life is. Put your bro. All right. All right. That was a waste. We're two minutes after the hour. <laughs> we'll hear from Reverend Motown and Deacon Def Jam in church complaints right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time now for church complaints with Reverend Motown and Deacon Death Jam. Oh, 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 we, oh, we, oh, we, oh, we. Yeah. 
We gather Oof. in this most posterous way. Yeah. As we ostracize mm. our way into brevity, iniquity, yeah. and law. Not a shit. Are you kidding me? For the domination of nation in terms of creation. I never hear that. I was a We prostitute it all in a most vigorous way. Woo, that boy can speak. Let us, let us bow down to the verbal, to the verbal calculations yeah. of a man of such as myself, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Deacon Death Jail with church. Complaints, though. Yes, yes. All right, let's get started, Pastor. Uh, Sister Glenda Hayes is out on bail after shoplifting with uh with her church robe on at the grocery store. Uh, she mm -hmm. sold six briskets, eight slabs of ribs, and six chickens. She almost made it out the door, but one of the chickens fell through her bra. The choir, the choir has kicked her out. And she is asking for you to get see if you can get her reinstated. That's what she's asking for. Well, we are going to forgive her for this transgression because we realize. I lost, guys, so she another was in there thing. Let's get her out the way now. Let's do it. And I knew it was going to be a major contribution. Pretty good second choice, to be yeah, honest. Yeah. I usually have horrible yeah, coffee as my second choice, but yeah, as I told y'all, I got bored, so I'm doing it this way. Brother Donnie was getting an uh, uh, acupuncture treatment on Friday. His wife was in the lobby when, uh, with all of his things. His phone rang, and she answered it. Donnie got up with 120 needles stuck in his body and went to the lobby and grabbed his phone and said, let's go home. He still got them needles in him right now. He asking the church, will we come get him out? Mm, mm, mm. Well, no, we're going to have to go down there to the people that put him in. We don't, yeah. uh, we don't, uh, <laughs> we don't do acupuncture <laughs> on here. So what is it? We don't do acupuncture. <laughs> you need the people that put them needles in him because I'm not going down there putting needles out of no box. <laughs> Lord didn't call me for that. Mm -hmm. I didn't put them in there, and so don't worry about that. And uh, anyway, we black people don't need to go down there getting that because it ain't for us. Yeah, yeah, really? Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're not supposed to be down there. You don't want to be Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's like getting you. Chinese right on your neck as a tattoo. You don't know what they say. <laughs> I had a, my uh, youngest brother got a tattoo in Chinese on his neck and started dating an Asian girl. And she told him what it meant. Oh, I'm off a little bit. <laughs> what did he mean? What, what did it mean? She uh, called him and she thought that was his nickname and it wasn't it was Black Bastard. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Listen. You're Black Bastard. You thought she had to throw it? No. It's just because you were across the line, but then you just went way across the line. Way I mean, he triple jumped, though, did he? Yeah, he probably come out. He probably come out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What they think that is, that is two rolls of quarters in his pocket. They own a vending machine company. But uh, they, they, these women is really looking at Brother Skinner, so she's asking that you talk to these women. Hmm. Well, I understand the difficulty there. I'm, I suffer from the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> these ain't quarters I have, darling. You know <laughs> so, you know, we gonna, we'll get that straight up. Is it All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
brother had right. the same thing with uh, Deacon Jr. though. He had pity. <laughs> um, well, I told you Rambo could be a good second choice for me. You could have led to some road. This right here is my pastor. Brother Rashid was caught cheating on his barber. His real barber passed by another barber shop and saw his car outside. So when Rashid came to his shop three weeks later, his barber cut plugs in his head. And he's, uh, he's asking, uh, he, uh, he, he asked him, where is the loyalty? Rashid is asking if the church would pay for a lace front till his hair grow back. We don't get involved in barbershop walls. We don't do that at this here church. We are the jackpot joint of Jerusalem. Let's be clear about that. We don't uh, navigate situations or where you get your hair done. We don't care. We don't care. We would like to send a special shout out though to Jaheen Ball. <laughs> Doesn't 
ran on the lean a lot, but still, I kind of would have rather went on and do it that way. Nothing I can do to help you. You already said you can't live without her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You already said she crazy. Yeah. Ooh, I can't keep her under control. Yeah. That's what he wants. Bam. You cannot keep a crazy person under control. <laughs> How? <laughs> you put down it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Moving on to Trinell in Ann Arbor. Trinell writes, my stepdad divorced my mom when I was 25 to be with me. We dated for five years and had a son together. Our son is five years old, and he's never met his grandma because she's still not speaking to me. Will my mom ever stop hating me? Are you kidding me? Wow. (laughs) Your mama's stepfather, your mama's husband, who's your stepfather, divorced her. Mm-hmm. And started dating you. You all mm-hmm. have a son. Yeah. You want your mama to forgive mm-hmm. Little girl. Mm-hmm. Oh, little girl. She's not speaking to you because. Are, are you kidding me? Mm-hmm. Once again, an example of a decision you make it today, how it can affect your tomorrow. Because tomorrow often time shows up. Now, you, you took this, your mama's mm-hmm. man. That's what? Steve. What's that's her stepson dad? and her grandson, the little boy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. God. No. <laughs> that is so that's deep your, right there. <laughs> and and that's your daddy and your grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. You got about two fathers they call. <laughs> this little boy right here. Uh, oh, child. <laughs> He had nothing to do with it. All the men in the world. Yeah, your mom's husband. Okay. Uh, Look, girl, you, you see, we're, we're, in a, we're in another world, man. I can't even. But you know what, man? I'm going to start giving current day answers. Cause you I'm, should. Yeah, I'm giving current day answers. Okay, what? It does that on this iHeart from time to time. It stops playing for some reason. He hasn't done the slide once. Was he foolish? Yeah, he had nothing to do with it. All the men in the world. Yeah, your mom's husband. Okay. Uh, Look, girl, you you, see, we're we're in a we're in another world, man. I can't. But you know what, man?